Hi, everybody. This talk will be about the uh, art of failure. That's something like about my life. So, you know. <laughs> I'm Mario Szypura. I'm from Poland, from Warsaw. I ran the Telehorse company in 2013. Now I'm CEO and, you know, I'm making games. But uh, who have I been is more important because uh, that's led me to making games. I was a creative and graphic designer in Poland, working for advertising agencies for 25 years. And there was, a, you know, there was work for um, biggest brands in Poland. Uh, but also I was working for a smallest company for my friends, especially in the music uh, uh, industry. Because I made some stuff, that's, that's not important. I made about 70 <laughs> album covers just because I'm a musician too. So it was 25 years of making music and making design. So I released about 18 albums. So that I got the two skills, the design and the music. And I tried to program, of course, because there was the programs like a Flash or Macromedia director and stuff like that. I was experienced with this, but I thought that I can program, but it was, you know, that was a failure, of course. My first serious mistake was that I quit a well-paid job and started making games. So that was, that was the first and the biggest, I think, failure, but I'm happy with it. <laughs> yeah, I started making games. I made a four games, I released four games to this time. The, one, the first one was the Steampunker. I made these games by myself, to be honest, but you know, <laughs> the, the second was the Steam Crowd, it was Endless Runner, there was a Steampunk Periscope VR shooter, there was an experiment in VR, and the last one is a Steamwork, it uh, was released in November. So I'm working on the next games, that less important now. Now I can call it small success because I won some awards. I was traveling on the world from conference to conference. That was cool. I won the awards. Oh, God. But I thought that this was success. But what is success? The success is the fact of getting or achieving wealth, respect, or fame. Yeah. I thought that it was this, but you know, the, the definition of success is changing <laughs> in time. We start with the, we want to, the success is when we not pay, not pay in panties, when we have a friends, when we have a driving drive license, then we have a sex, of course. And at last we have a money, we're trying to have a money. And then, okay, we are on, you know, exactly the same, but <laughs> in the wrong side, <laughs> wrong direction. So that's the definition of success on the, you know, the, every part of our, of our lives. So, but I think more accurate definition of success is just because we are in London, so there was a Winston Churchill. Success consists of going from failure to failure without loss of enthusiasm. I think this is my, <laughs> my way of life, yeah. Everyone thinks that, that success is you know, the, the straight line to success. You start the game, making games and then you are releasing game. Okay, that's, that, that's not, not, not this way. It really looks like this. There's, you know, the, a lot of points, uh, a lot of changing of ways of making, ever. sometimes you want to give up. Yeah, that's, that's, the, the, that's the way to success. Success is not built on success, it's built on failure. That's, that's true. I think that's, that's, it's really true. So how we, do we define failure? Of course, we know that this, this one, the Erarum Humanum Est, that was, you know, that, that everyone was learning about that. But people are not interested in the errors. There is a, a Peter Burgel landscape with the fall of Icarus. There was, you know, the life is going on, there were farmer, there was, you know, the life. Uh, there is a good weather, but the Icarus is here, you know. <laughs> no one is interested in the failure. That's, that's, we know this guy, this is Pablo Picasso. It was, he was considered as a genius, of course, because he was a, uh, really gifted drawer, then painter, that he made, you know, the, the, the artworks like Demoiselle d'Avignon on the age of 26. That was absolutely, you know, absolutely genius, perfect genius. There are some paintings of him, of course, but there was the person like Cézanne, and his first exhibition got in the age of 35. He considered the production of painting as a process of searching. He, wa he wasn't genius. He made unbelievable amount of sittings and uh, over three months when he was painting portrait of Gustave Giffroy or portrait of Ambrose Vollard. 
150 occasions. And then, of course, uh, announcing as a failure. Those always, you know, he was perfectionist, but he gave up his uh, artworks. So there was this. Now, we can consider that, that Picasso could tell, I want to find, not search, what Cezanne I seek in painting. So that's, that's two different ways to achieve a success, of course. This way is good, and this way is good too, but maybe this is more painful, this is more straightforward. I don't know, maybe this is for a person with an ego, this is for a person which like working. Of course, the, the card players, but for Cezanne now is worth more than Picasso artworks, so you know. <laughs> Another person, and another failure in, was uh, Spencer Silver. He failed inventing new glue. Glue was too weak, okay. But his friend, Arthur Frey, put this weak glue on smallest sheet of paper, okay. That was a failure, but now then was, it was a success. Steve Jobs, of course, we know that Steve Jobs was one of the famous uh, person on the world making Apple computers and stuff like that, but he, God, you know, this made errors too. The, he was driving the company. He tried to make the computer next computer. This logo was very, <laughs> very expensive. And of course, it was a failure because no one wanted to buy this computer because it was too expensive. It was a good computer, but it was too expensive. But the operating system was the reason Apple bought next computer in. 97, 1997 and served as basis for Apple popular OS X. So that's why we got this all the return of uh, Steve Jobs to his company and uh, you know the, all the i devices, I, iPads, iPhones, iMacs, of course, and, and iTunes too. So it was a failure, but it, now it's a success. We know this game, the Space <laughs> Invaders. Sometimes, you know, the failure is a feature because they're, you know, when, they're, when we are shooting this uh, aliens, the game is uh, going faster and faster and faster. It was because when it was all the screen was drawn on the, on the device, it was, uh, memory was full. And when we are, when we are uh, shooting this and destroying this aliens, there was less aliens, so the memory was free and the game ran faster. <laughs> so the, it was a failure, or maybe some, you know, there are some problems with the technolo technological problem, but it becomes success. Every problem is an opp opportunity to guess. Okay, I, I agree with this. And now some of my, my errors I made with making my games. For example, my first problem, I do it by myself. I start, as you know, I was a graphic designer, musician, I could program. So I tried to do everything by myself. Of course, it was spectacular failure. I started, as you know, playing music. Music. I was on, on the influences of punk rock and stuff like that. No future, Sex Pistols. And then I switched to DIY, do it yourself. It was more. It was more familiar for me when you, you can make some stuff. And uh, there was my heroes, you know, the, the bands like Sony, Guild, Pixies, and uh, especially Fugazi and the disco scene from uh, Washington, D.C. They made, you know, the something, it was in the, on the late 80s, they made uh, something like a network, sending fanzines, sending tapes, cassette tapes to, to, to their fans, but they making something like ca some, some kind of network, networking connected with this music. And, it, it was cool for me because they made it without a major label, without the money. That was cool. And then I switched these heroes for these heroes and tried to make the same. Yeah. <laughs> but it was, you know, the failures with the time management because I was just one person. But there's, a, you know, the design, music. Uh, of course, I, I didn't notice that there was something like a game design, you know. <laughs> Uh, modeling, you know, making sound effects, everything was inside this. And I was working all the time. It was everlasting crunch. Uh, but it was funny because, you know, I was making game, my game, my own game. I, I imagined that and, and just trying to release it. And really my stone and goals, of course, because there's only one person. So, so <laughs> And I all the time try to not give up. But, it, but you know, there, there's something fun when you are making something what you want and not uh, someone wants you to do that. 
Of course, I, I tried to finding shortcuts, and this, this, you know, the, I, I couldn't draw the old games, hand drawn, and make the animation because it was a problem with the time. So I find some shortcuts. I made it to the backgrounds and uh, put inside the 3D character. I was, you know, it was a good idea because it, <laughs> it uh, saved a lot of time for me. That's a, like it was just looking in my game, you know, that was something like that. There was a 2D background and the person was, the hero was walking on the another uh, level. Another problem, of course, I was, you know, that, I, that was my first time, my first approach to, to making games. So I, I should choose engine. So you must choose, <laughs> of course, but I, I didn't have any experience. I tried to find something like a game salad. It was a drag and drop uh, uh, engine to making games without coding. So I, I thought, oh God, that's, that's something for me. But it was really hard because I, it was, my game was too complicated to make the game in this engine. So I started to, of course it was failed, I started to search in, in this time something some engine, of course, some those was it was years ago. So some of these engines was uh, were uh, uh, expensive. Some were free. Yeah, that of course nothing fit. But I found the Unity. Unity doesn't pay me for this. That's just you know that I think the Unity was the best engine for me. Especially I found this plugin Playmaker, which was the visual scripting plugin, and it. It was cool because I could make some stuff, you know, and I, I saw everything. The coding was not for me at this time. Now I'm can, I can code, but you know, that I'm not good at that. That's true, but, but this visual scripting helped me a lot to make the, my first game. Another problem, marketing. Of course, I'm one man army. There is no money because I, <laughs> I quit the job and there is no ads because I got no money, but it's, you know, there's something like marketing, I could make something like that. I start going with my games for showcases, conferences, competitions, fairs, everywhere, every, everywhere I could afford to go. And there was a, you know, the, at the end it was a whole world, yeah, but, but it was hard. I, I, I saved my money and tried to, to spend them for traveling and, and going for conferences and meet the people, show, showing them the, my, my game, and I think it was a good strategy, but finally I won some awards because I was going for these events, and uh, that was cool, and that was you know, the, some energy to, to make the games better and better. Yeah, the, but by the way, the events are cool, so, so you know, they're always meeting the <laughs> new people, and then I like it. And it was uh, connected with this was a press coverage, because when I won some awards, or I, went somewhere, I try to, 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 you know, to, to, to connect with the press and then tell them about this. That was cool. And the social media, I always try to make something like you know, the, the cover, cover art for, for Facebook or whatever, just you know, to, to tell everyone that I'm going somewhere with my games. Another, another good idea was to, to become speaker, because you know, the, I, when are you going for the event like that? That's, Cool to be a speaker and then, then connect with people and told them something something important. Yeah. Another problem to find the money because I'm making game for it was a uh, two years or one half one year and a half and I start to you know the uh, strapping friends and family loans business loans okay but I try to find the seed money investments indie game funds I. I apply for uh, some funds, uh, European Union funds. It was a Creative Europe, it is a nice program in, in the European Union, and there is a cre Creative Europe, yeah, Creative Europe, and uh, I won it and then earned some, some, I get some grant for, for my next game, so that was cool. Of course, I tried to crowdfunding, I made an Indiegogo campaign, and I tried to interest the venture capital. Of, Successful. That was successful. So, so now I can make a games. But of course, there's always problems with money. That's not, <laughs> that's not solved. But you know, the postpone. <laughs> Another problem: no localization. That was my idea to go, for example, to Tokyo. Yeah, for Tokyo Game Show, I get you know the indie booth for free. Okay, going to Tokyo. There was a, you know the 300,000 people there. It was really huge, and I was. Uh, 
with the uh, game Steampunker that I got localized only this title. <laughs> that was crazy, but no one was talking in English. So my, when they see the menu of the game, they, they couldn't play this. I, I should stay and, and sh show them how to play the game. That was, and, and the next time I was with my next game, I got the leaflets and everything, you know, the translated. That was a good idea for, for this. Yeah, that's, uh, localization is important because, for example, I, I, I went to, to, get, to play the game in a Sega, you know, their uh, saloon, and there was a, something like that in the game. So the red button is a go next or cancel. Although green button is on, the, on this side, but it's a green. So it should be, you know, the, the play. <laughs> I didn't solve this problem. I found uh, something like, like Fiverr, when you can translate for five dollars some questions, uh, some, some 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 words, and that was cool because sometimes you know that when the game is uh, um, much bigger, that's that's too, too small service for something like that. But sometimes when you need to translate, for example, you know, some words or or some some verse, so that's that's cool. Okay, I got some problem with the Zynga. That was crazy because uh, my game area was called Steamville. And I got the season this is the letter from Zynga because you know the, they got the right for the ending bill for uh, Europe and States everywhere. For example, if I got the you know the t shirts I love Seville, that's <laughs> too much. Farmville, you know the, the game Farmville, that was Steamville. The different games, absolutely different games. This is social, this is you know single player game with the steampunk style and Nothing in common. <laughs> when you, when the Zynga, you know, you know that this, these numbers are, you know, <laughs> okay. But when you, in this time, when you put the telehorse in the results in the in the Wikipedia, what the telehouse did you mean? <laughs> and they, you know, that they, they try to, to force me to change the name. Of course, I I changed the name because, <laughs> you know, the, I don't have the money to, to for lawyers and then to fight with the Zynga. There is some Polish, you know, the. <laughs> Smart words that, that, that don't try to fight <laughs> in kicking with the horse. So no, <laughs> that's crazy. PR and press coverage. That was effect of this. That was cool because it was failure. You know that I not God, I should change the name. But a lot of people write about this fight. My fight with the fight. Fight. That's you know, the argument with the <laughs> singer. Another problem. Featuring will solve all problems. I thought. That will be that, something like that. I got the game Steamcraft. It was, you know, featured in a Google Play. Downloads were cool. Reviews, you know, sales fatal. But the reviews because I made some risky update in time of featuring, <laughs> and, and, and there was, you know, the black screen for I think the half of a day or something like that, and it was, you know, disaster. <laughs> but it was good visibility of course there was a good downloads but i wasn't prepared for this so if you plan something like that be ready another pro problem it was platform hell because i start making because i was fan of I, uh, ipads so i make the game for ios for tablet and of course i didn't predict that this something like screen resolution and aspect ratios in the android so there was the a lot of devices, and uh, of course, on the iPad is one, one, one. As, uh, it was aspect, one aspect radio, but it was, you know, the, the problem with the performance in Android with gyroscope. <laughs> God, that was a lot. It was a trap. <laughs> <laughs> so now I embark on new project with the problems in my mind. So in all those problems, oh, so that's bad experience. The best navigator in life, sooner or later, it takes you in the, the right direction. So I released four games. I can call it success, but uh, as you can see, there was a lot of failures. That was the only, you know, the, some my failures. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Any, any questions? Any thoughts, questions? In, oh, there's one over here. I'll just come over with the mic. <coughs> oh, sorry. I, I just want to add, um, so I'm a game designer, and, and similar to you, uh, I, I love Playmaker. I, I recommend <laughs> Playmaker to, to everyone, every junior designer, everyone, because understanding scripting, uh, even in a, in a kind of rudimentary way, uh, helps you talk uh, a lot easier with programmers. And as soon as you get programmers, things get a lot easier. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, so it's, it's a, if you don't know Playmaker, 
I mean, it was the best £100 I ever spent. It's like $50 now. Um, yeah, buy it. Yeah, I agree. I was ashamed that I'm using, you know, the software like Playmaker because everyone was coding. And, oh, God, no. I can't. Yeah, but it's a fast, fast uh, tool for uh, prototyping for everything, to be honest. It's only for me. I'm not a coder, and yet I find it easy to uh, see sharp now. I find it easy to just dive in. Yeah. And I think that's an interesting one because I think it's about what you're trying to do and why. But anyway, it's not a Playmaker talk. It's not a Unity talk, um, however much I might want it to be. <laughs> no, thank you very much. Um,